In this session, I'll demonstrate how to use the eLearning dashboard. So once you log into eLearning, on the top left here, you'll see this little icon next to the logo. And this is where you can control this panel on the left. If you want to see the panel all the time, you click on it and it will display similar to this. And if you want to hide this panel, you can just simply click on that same icon again and it will park it on the left. The same functionality is still available, but just a, a more real estate for you to do your work. The other thing here on the right hand side, we also have this, these blocks and this can be controlled from this icon right here. So I'm going to leave this currently enabled as well as the panel on the left. Now the dashboard can be customized further to your liking and typically by default you're going to see the course overview and this is filtering or giving you a list of all the courses that you have access in e-learning. This would mean the prior courses from prior years plus any future courses and the current ones. And if you scroll down here you'll see many of them depending on what you have access. Additionally, further down here you have this recently accessed courses and this is a listing of the courses that you have accessed just recently, just like the word says recently there. Now, you can control what displays here on the front page by clicking on the drop down here under all and you could say I want only those in progress. At this point also it's important to note that the course is in progress or what shows up under in progress it's basically uh, related to the start and end date for the course. So and that is typically controlled by going, if I go here to the actual course, click on the gear icon, I choose edit settings, and then under the dates right here for the start date and the end date, it has to be, so today's date or what you need there is for these dates to be in the future. So basically this will expire in June or it will be ending up in June 2019 and after that it will be listed under past courses. So if it shows in the past courses but you want it to still be listed in the current courses you need to change the dates on the course itself, the start and end date. Keep in mind that when you do this though it's going to change it for your students as well. So now let's go back to the dashboard you can change it here to in progress and notice for specific courses here you also have these three dots next to the title of the course that means that you can put a star to specific courses that you want or you can hide specific courses as well from your view now if you hide something you're not going to be able to see it under the courses in progress of so in that case to view hidden courses then you have to go here under in progress and then choose to show hidden courses and then that specific one that we just hit is going to be listed in there or if you choose all courses then it will be listed again under all the courses and it will show up in there and if I choose hidden here and I want to unhide it just go back to these three dots and choose to show the course and then that will be listed under the in progress courses. So that's basically the filtering here that you can control what you want to see, whether you want to see the past courses, the future courses or the current courses and such. Now if you put a star to many of the courses that you want then you can also change the filter so you can see only those courses that you have put the stars on or you can have marked with a star. And that's another way for you to customize the dashboard to list only those courses that you want. Now if you have access to uh, uh, multiple courses, so if it's more than 12 here you can change how many you can show up on the front page, so you can change it up to 48. And then once it goes beyond that, you're going to have multiple pages here. It's going to be listed on the right-hand side for multiple pages and such. Now another thing that you can do to customize the course overview here is also how you want the courses to be sorted. So you could sort them by last accessed 
and in that case the most recently accessed courses will be listed first or you can show them by course name as well. An additional feature here is that the card view and the card view is basically the view that we currently have here. You have a little picture of that course, you have the title of it and the percent complete for that course. Now the percent complete, by the way, that is connected to the completion tracking within the course and it's mostly useful for the students in that course. So for faculty, you probably don't have to worry that much about it's like per the percentage that you have completed for that for the activities in that course under the card here you can change the view to just give you a listing of all your courses and this is a cleaner view in this case or you can change this to give you the summary list of the course so in this case it will give you the title of the course along with a description for your course. Now the description here in case you are wondering you can change that under course settings if you go to the actual course and you choose edit settings for that course there's going to be one of the fields in there for course description. So once you set those preferences to what you like and the view that you like it then the dashboard it will stay the same. Personally I will prefer the card view in this case. Now notice also on the right hand side here under the, uh, the panels on the right here or the blocks on the right you'll also see a new block here the timeline. The timeline typically uh, you can choose here how many items to list but those would be items from the courses that the student is taking and activities that they have to complete. Now those are related or connected to due dates within the activities for them to show up in here. So if you choose to set the due dates within the activities, you must also make sure that they are up to date. However, the students find the due dates and such very helpful because it will show up in here in the timeline for them. And also for you as the faculty, it will show up for you to grade those activities as well. Note uh, you can also control here how to sort it by dates or to sort the timeline by courses as well when you assign dates to various activities in the course those dates also will trickle down to the calendar as well. Finally there is also this option here under recently accessed courses and again this just has a listing of courses that most recently accessed. If you prefer to have this higher up here in the dashboard you can click on customize this dashboard and then simply go down to that block which is recently accessed courses and then you can simply drag this up just like you move activities in the course. Once you drag it up you can click on stop customizing this page and now the most recently accessed course list it will be showing up on the top and then you have this other stuff here right below it. So it's up to you how you choose to customize this to your liking.